King Tut is the youngest pharaoh that ever ruled over Egypt. Tutankhamun was an Egyptian pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, ruled from 1332-1323 BC, during the period of Egyptian history known as the New Kingdom. He is colloquially referred to as King Tut. His original name, Tutankhaten, means living image of Aten, while Tutankhamun means living image of Amun. Tutankhamun was the son of Akhenaten and one of Akhenaten's sisters, or perhaps one of his cousins. As a prince he was known as Tutankhaten. He ascended to the throne in 1333 BC, at the age of 9 or 10, taking the throne name Nebkbayur. His wet nurse was a woman called Maya, known from her tomb at Saktora. A teacher was most likely Senajim. When he became king, he married his half-sister, Anxenpaiten, who later changed her name to Anxenamun. They had two daughters, both stillborn. Computed tomography studies released in 2011 revealed that one daughter died at five six months of pregnancy, and the other at nine months of pregnancy. No evidence was found in either mummy of congenital anomalies or an apparent cause of death. Given his age, the king probably had very powerful advisors, presumably including General Hormib, records that the king appointed him lord of the land as hereditary prince to maintain law. He almost noted his ability to calm the young king when his temper flared. Tutankhamun was slight of build, and was roughly 180 centimeters or 5 feet 11 inch tall. In 2008, a team began DNA research on Tutankhamun and the mummified remains of other members of his family. The results from the DNA samples finally put to rest questions about Tutankhamun's lineage, proving that his father was Akhenaten, but that his mother was not one of Akhenaten's known wives. There are no surviving records of Tutankhamun's final days. What caused Tutankhamun's death has been the subject of considerable debate. Major studies have been conducted in an effort to establish the cause of death. There is some evidence, advanced by Harvard microbiologist Ralph Mitchell, that his burial may have been hurried. Mitchell reported that dark brown splotches on the decorated walls of Tutankhamun's burial chamber suggested that he had been entombed even before the paint had a chance to dry. With the death of Tutankhamun and the two stillborn children buried with him, the Thutmose family line came to an end. Tutankhamun was nine years old when he became pharaoh, son of god Ra, and reigned for approximately ten years. The Egyptian son god Ra, considered the father of all pharaohs, was said to have created himself from a pyramid-shaped mound of earth before creating all other gods. Tutankhamun was buried in a tomb that was small relative to his status. His death may have occurred unexpectedly, before the completion of a grand royal tomb so that his mummy was buried in a tomb intended for someone else. If Tutankhamun is the world's best-known pharaoh, it is largely because his tomb is among the best preserved, and his image and associated artifacts the most exhibited.